Hi. I just thought I'd take a minute and I would try to explain to you guys why I am so adamant and passionate about not putting Q-tips in people's eyes. And I talk about this in my class that if you do it, that you are automatically out of the voila group, no questions asked. And there's a severe reason why. I was in a seminar where the young man was getting his Q-tip stuck deep in his eye to release his eye muscles. And he gets up off the table and he's just sitting there and he can't move. And I'm like, are you okay? And his response was this. And that's all he could do. So I went over and I was trying to help him out a little bit. And the next morning I saw him and he couldn't even get out of his car. He was just so still shaken. At lunch, when we all took a break, he came up to me after lunch and he was like, Joel, I need help. I want to go into a movie theater with a gun and shoot everyone. That's the state of mind he was in. All from his eyes being released with a Q-tip. It put him into autonomic overdrive. And this man became, he was on suicide watch. The instructor had no clue what to do. And he came to me to ask me to take care of him. Now, mind you, this was 10 days after my mom's death. So I was not in the best frame of mind either, but I took him in and I took care of him. He ended up coming to my house and staying with me for about four days on suicide watch, just making sure he was gonna be okay. That's how serious this is. This is why I'm so passionate about it. This is why I'm so adamant about it. And this is why I'm finally speaking out about it. And every time I bring it up in a class, most modality people go, well, what are you even talking about? And why would anybody do that? And my question, or my answer is exactly. It's not necessary. It's not needed. And what I hear from the other groups are, well, they get up off the table and they feel great. No, what that is, is you put them in an autonomic distress. Now their adrenaline is pumping like you wouldn't believe. And now they have a state of euphoria. And then they crash. So why you see them, oh yeah, they're great. No, they are not. The other response I always get from people who teach this is, well, I teach it, but I don't use it in my clinic. Think about that. I teach others how to do it. However, I don't use it in my own clinic. Makes no sense. Why? Why? <laughs> if you do not do something in your own clinic, why are you teaching others to do it? Just think about that.